Hello Taproot users, welcome back to the Taproot Software Academy video series. In this video we'll go ahead and go into the details on creating your own Taproot investigation. As always, the first thing we want to go ahead and do is to sign into the software. Once signed in, we can go ahead and move the mouse over Create New and you can see the four options we have. We have Incident, Incident and Investigation, Audit and Action Plan. Since we're going to go ahead and create a sample investigation, I will go ahead and select Incident and Investigation. We now have the Investigation Details tab. Here you'll see Name, Incident Date, Incident Time, Location, and Classification. If you notice the red asterisks over a few of the fields here, these indicate that these are going to be required fields. So let me go ahead and get the uh, data enter here. We're going to have our sample investigation of an employee spraining their ankle. So I'll go ahead and type that in. And for our incident date, which you can see is a required field, we'll go ahead and say that happened on September 14th. And the location, it happened in our Buffalo location. And as it is a safety issue, the classification is going to be safety. So we'll go ahead and click safety and select. And we can just go ahead and verify everything. Everything looks good here. Again, the incident time is not a required field, so I don't need to put anything in there. If you have the time, then you can definitely go ahead and put that in there. Or if it's a requirement for your company, then I would definitely put that in there as well. But as far as the software goes, it is not a required field. Well, everything looks good here, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the Create button, and it says Investigation Created. Now, we're going to go ahead and make this a basic investigation. Uh, so the difference is if you look over at the Taproot tab, you can see the different phases. There's Investigate, Analyze, and Fix, and the steps that go with those. Now, the basic one, it's very simple. It's just uh, three steps. With the major investigation, so if you had a turbine failing or some big incident uh, or you know something that caused a fatality, you would, you would want to use the major and then you have additional steps that you can go through. Those will be discussed on another video. So let me go ahead and go back to the details tab. So we've got all our information here. Um, if you need to share this investigation, you can go ahead and add additional team members or attachments. You can go ahead and add any attachments. Uh, if you have a picture of the site where an incident occurred, um, any sort of checklist or anything like that that you have, questionnaires that you asked employees on site, uh, things like that, that could all be uploaded to here. And you can actually create these uh, various categories and these folders in the admin section. I was, again, that would be another video. So we went over the tap route real quick where you have basic and major and then the various steps. I'm going to go ahead and go back and make this a basic investigation. And then we have our report and reference tabs. The report, self-explanatory, it's where your reports are. Uh, I get, we will dive into those deeper at a later date. And reference, if you have any questions about some of these different steps and what exactly is there. We have hyperlinks in here for Snapchart, root cause tree, uh, and to get more information about those. So there you have it. We have created our first investigation. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to uh, send us an email to support at taproot.com. And don't forget to check out all videos on our Taproot Software Academy to make sure you stay Taproot Savvy. Have a great day.